Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see how we can call an integration procedure from Postman uh, that is using REST APIs. So uh, let's start. So we'll start with the basics. We'll firstly see the architecture of Omni Studio. So basically, an integration procedure is part of the Omni Studio, and Omni Studio was uh, previously given uh, was part of Velocity package. And with the Salesforce acquisition of Velocity, uh, so a new package was. Uh, like brought and that new package was named Omni Studio. Uh, so this new package uh, like contained the Omni Studio component the same as the Velocity. And uh, in this architecture of Omni Studio, we have three layers. That is the digital experience layer, the service management layer, and the developer experience layer. The digital experience layer is the front end. The front end by uh, it means that whatever uh, the UI will be shown to the user. So we have two options uh, in the digital experience that is flex cards and Omni scripts. So uh, and for service management, that would be the backend. The in by backend, I mean how data would be retrieved is uh, like from Salesforce, the data query or data from Salesforce using data raptors. Then we have integration procedures to manipulate the JSON or we can uh, even get the data from external systems using IPs. So uh, in this service management layer, we have the integration procedures and we are going to see how we can call the those IPs from REST APIs. So it is actually a common uh, one use case, like whenever we are uh, using integration procedures, we need to call them from an external system. And thirdly, we have the developer experience layer, uh, which contains the IDX build tool and the IDX workbench. So these are the tools to deploy Velocity or Omni Studio components from one org to another. So, uh, yeah, I have this table which shows uh, the difference between two packages. So, firstly is the Omni Studio for Velocity package. So, previously we need we to view the Omni Studio content. Uh, we must have the we must have the industry managed package installed for Velocity. That was Velocity uh, for communication, Velocity for insurance, etc. So, beginning. Uh, summer 22 so uh, salesforce came up with a new package uh, that is the omni studio specifically for the omni studio components which we saw uh, in the previous slide these components so the uh, with this package the omni studio components became an independent entity irrespective of the industry managed package so uh, let us go through what are integration procedures so as i told integration procedures are part of the service management layer of the omni studio architecture and earlier orgs used to have uh, velocity specific industry uh, velocity industry specific managed packages for using the omni studio related functionalities and uh, post salesforce acquisition a new omni studio package came up and uh, integration procedures are declarative server side processes that execute multiple actions in a single server call. So the advantages of integration procedure are they are declarative. Uh, we, that is, we don't need to write a code. We just have to use the drag and drop components. Uh, so the server side, uh, uh, it gives us the ability to do server side processing. Uh, this enables faster performance. So because most of the work is being done on the server. Uh, multiple actions in a single server call. So this uh, IP prevents round trips to the server, uh, which uh, is faster performance and uh, and uh, because of the smaller round trips. So let us start with the demo. Uh, so firstly, uh, here is the link. You, I'll provide this link in the uh, YouTube uh, description, video description, or the comments. So with this, you can uh, get a free developer edition org with the Omni Studio package installed. So in this org, we would have many predefined IPs, data raptors, uh, Omni scripts available. So it is like for uh, our reference, how we can develop, we can use or develop on the top of it. So. Um, in this video, we'll see how we can call an IP from Postman. So we'll uh, use the REST API and we can, we'll use the REST methods like get or post to see an integration procedure and call an integration procedure and retrieve the result. So the difference between the get and post call is that get call can't include a JSON body. So uh, the endpoint here would be like, we'll uh, call the slash services slash apex rest slash namespace so the namespace would be omni studio either omni studio either velocity cmt velocity insurance or velocity underscore ps so this is like with whichever package you have in your org you can use that namespace and then uh, you can uh, you uh, the further url would be v1 version 1 integration procedure 
integration procedure and type and the subtype. So type and the subtype we have to, uh, this defined in the integration procedure. So let's go to the org and see it. So uh, firstly, this is the link where you can request your Omni Studio org. You just need to fill this form. So I've already filled it and I got this org. Uh, so uh, firstly, I want to show you the installed packages. So you can see that the Omni Studio package has been installed and the namespace is Omni Studio. And uh, then I uh, then we have to go to the Omni Studio app. Within the Omni Studio app, uh, we'll have these defines. So let's click on Omni Studio integration procedures. So we'll have some predefined integration procedures here. And uh, one of them I've opened it. And that uh, integration procedure is team get account details. So uh, when we call this integration procedure, we need to pass in the ID, account ID. So first, uh, in this structure, we can see we have these uh, tiles. So in the first tile, we have the procedure configuration. Uh, then in the second tile, uh, we have uh, input the data adapter turbo action. So this data adapter, uh, we have defined it as another part of the Omni, the part of the Omni Studio. And uh, basically this IP will call this data adapter to get the account details. So this is the account ID which we will pass and in the end we have a response action. This response action will basically trim the JSON that we re receive from the data raptor uh, and it will only send the DR get account details, right? So now let's, uh, uh, let's log into Postman and make a request. So for logging into Postman, I've already created this connected app. So, uh, like I have previously made videos on how to call, uh, how to connect Salesforce and Postman. You can watch that and see the steps. So now I'll go to Postman. So I'll click on authorization and I'll fill in the connected app details. Let's say the client ID, client secret, the authorization URL and the access token URL. And I'll click on get new access token. <coughs> It is asking me to allow the access. I'll click on allow. Open in Postman. So we have got the access token uh, now and that access token has been appended in the header. So now we can call the integration procedure. So you can see uh, in the when I click on the body, uh, I get this option to get the URL. So the URL is the namespace slash services slash Apex space slash Omni Studio slash integration procedure and the type and the subtype. Let's go to the integration procedure and uh, get the type and the subtype from the procedure configuration. This is the type and this is the subtype. I'll just copy paste it. So uh, now we got the integration procedure. Uh, now if we put a get request, let me just click uh, on send. So we get an empty response because we haven't passed in any account ID. So I'll just pass in the account ID. I'll go to params. I'll go to DR get account and I'll select the account ID uh, variable and I'll pass that in the params uh, postman tab. Now let me choose an account and I'll paste. This is the account ID that I copy pasted and let me now click on send and see if the integration procedure returns a response. Yes, so you can see the integration procedure has returned a response. So basically this is how we can call an IP from Postman. So let's make a post request from uh, Postman uh, to the integration procedure. From So from here we'll choose the post method and we'll choose a different IP now. So I've opened this IP that is the team save account. I'll just uh, copy the subtype for it. The type is the uh, same as team and uh, now since it is a post request we need to attach a body for it so uh, this this basically this IP will call a data raptor uh, data raptor and it will basically update the account so in the if I open this data raptor it is of interface type load and within the objects we have selected account and within the fields we are mapping so uh, this data raptor is expecting JSON of this kind so firstly, uh, the name of the JSON would be step account and within that we'll have the ID, name, website and the phone number. So it is expecting JSON of this kind and it is mapping uh, those input JSON part to the fields of account. And after that, it will uh, save the account or update the account since we are providing in the ID. So I'll copy paste this JSON 
and I'll put that in the body and I'll uh, click on a raw body and I'll paste it. I'll change the type to JSON uh, and I'll just delete this and I'll just change the name to postman tutorial and now I'll just click on send and I've received the response so uh, everything is okay so let's see like if the data is changed or not so now you can see the account name has been changed to postman tutorial so it has been successfully updated so this is how basically you can uh, make a get call and the post call from postman to the integration procedure and i'll uh, try to make more such videos on the velocity or the omni studio components in the future so do like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks everyone for watching the video